Should disabled kids be kept out of Disney? That's essentially the question on a recent Reddit thread. A 25-year-old mom is raising her three-year-old daughter who was born with brain damage. The toddler struggles with understanding and communication, but she loves Disney. So the mom, determined to bring joy to her daughter, decides to take her on a trip to Disney. Despite meticulous planning to try to make the experience enjoyable, the day is filled with a lot of judgmental people. A group of teenage girls laughed at and took pictures of the toddler. People rolled their eyes and made rude comments at the toddler. And the breaking point occurs while they're waiting in line for the Toy Story alien ride at Hollywood Studios. The line stalls and the toddler doesn't understand why. So she starts screaming. This attracts a lot of judgmental stares and whispers and someone in the crowd tells the mom her daughter needs a quote, swift spanking, prompting the mom to leave Disney in frustration. The mom tells the story to one of her friends who suggests that her daughter's screaming may have ruined other people's days. She starts wondering if she was the one in the wrong for taking her daughter to Disney at all and turns to the Reddit thread, am I the, hopefully you are familiar with this thread because I don't think social media will let me say that in this video, for advice. The entire situation is making me sad. Now, first of all, this is clearly why the DAS system is absolutely necessary. Secondly, I don't think the mom is in the wrong for wanting to bring joy to her disabled child. Disabled people should not be hidden away from the world like Quasimodo. In fact, I'm pretty sure that was one of the lessons of that Disney movie. Perhaps all these folks in line missed that. All of the jerks who judge the mom and her child are in the wrong for being so judgmental towards a toddler. This is Disney. Children are going to have tantrums at Disney. It's just part of the experience. They get overwhelmed. It's loud. There's a lot of noise. They're tired. They haven't eaten enough. It's hot. It just happens. This story also shows exactly something I raised recently about how disabled people can be interpreted as though we're being rude, out of control, or inappropriate when the real problem is the world's failure to have compassion, empathy, or try to understand or accommodate our needs. Let me know what you think in the comments. Who is the whole here?